Okay, it's the ugliest part of my apartment, all right? I can't, there's nothing else I can say. Um, here we are, it's, it's really early. I wake up this early every day. Y'all, <laughs> today I woke up at 10.30. I'm surprised as well. I will say everybody, in my 28 years here on Earth, I've started noticing wrinkles. <laughs> right here, and I'm finer than what? You not want me to laugh for the rest of my life? This shows that I've been laughing my entire life. <laughs> at all, y'all. <laughs> Now most of you know me and you know that I'm into skincare products and I like to, I could spend all damn day in like a skincare aisle just like looking at ingredients trying to avoid the, the sales clerk. So I'm going to show you my skincare products that I'm using these days. Um, the products, the brands, the applications, you just put it on your face. Let's do it. Wow, how'd those two toothbrushes get there? <laughs> Whose is it? Vote in the comments below. You know, um... People just keep their toothbrushes here just in case they sleep over. Throughout these red wine talks and just me drinking lots of coffee and drinking red wine when I'm not drinking red wine during red wine talks, I've realized that like my teeth are going the French way. <laughs> <laughs> These have always been my go-to's. I, I have such sensitive teeth that even if I do use a Crest white strip, my teeth hurt even after 20 minutes. So I got some Sensodyne, which I use typically after the white strips, but most of the time I go for the organic, like, Toms, and I don't need to brush my... I'm so, like, can you tell I'm almost over YouTube? Because <laughs> most people would be like, no, let me brush my teeth. I already brushed my teeth, so I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> it's just, it's like more fun when you just don't like you don't care anymore it's not that I don't care because I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't care but I just like I don't need to like do these things and ugh. I'm having too much fun already I found this at Café Merci um, it was four euros which I know is ridiculous for a, a basic toothbrush but also like it's gonna sit there and it's gonna look good with the colors because <laughs> that's what matters actually F that. Design does matter because it influences the way we feel in a space, especially in our own space that we're paying monthly for. Let me show you the color scheme for all y'all who aren't design inclined. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> Wave your hand if you look good. All right, that wasn't even step one. Step one was me getting out of bed and me immediately putting my contacts in because I am basically blind. The next step would be to wash your face, which I also already did. I'll just start doing the thing. All right. I also notice I'm starting to grow up. I have to shave like every two days now. And since I'm here in France, I like to go for the, like I like to leave a little mustache. Um, not a must, just like a sexy, like five o'clock shadow mustache. But can the men who watch this channel, so like all two of you, <laughs> can you please let me know which, or women, I mean, maybe you have to shave your face. Which razors do you use? I still use this. This is the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Brightening and Exfoliating. They don't make this in a smaller size, which is why I didn't use it for years, but I like the white birch scent. Now they always say you're supposed to get your neck, and I always try, but I'm just like, this is the most annoying place to wash. See, and I gotta get my eyebrows real good, because this is where I always get pimples. Now, because I'm living here in Paris, I have really caught on to all these French skincare products. Like, y'all don't even know about the products they use over here. So first off, y'all probably heard me talk about this one, right? Oh, what is it called? <laughs> Eau Thermale Aven, or any Eau Thermale. Basically, it's a thermal water in a, in a bottle. Thermal water in a bottle. And I swear, there has to be a direct correlation between the time I started using this, maybe like two, three years ago, and when I stopped getting like weekly pimples, like a random weekly pimple. And then you put it back in the fridge. This is thermal spring water. So you know how you might book a trip to like the thermal springs and you're supposed to go and get in these waters with like minerals and stuff and it's supposed to help your skin. That's basically what this is. It, you just don't like jump in the water. <laughs> get back to the French skincare products, but now, skirt! New product that I started using. I was in London and I walked into a store called The Ordinary. The Ordinary, apparently, I think their whole thing is that they don't do marketing, um, which this is the marketing that they're getting from it. All the serums, all the moisturizers, everything's like five to six dollars, and it's because they claim that's how much it costs, you know, like that's, that's 
enough money for them to make a profit and for them to pay rent in their stores and not have to jack the price up so they can market their company everywhere. And I'm like, that is a company that I want to support. And for the price of a typical serum that I would buy, which is like probably between 40 and $60, I walked out with four items. Where's the other one? <laughs> I probably used it. Uh, this is a brightening serum with stabilized vitamin C derivative and a multi-technology peptide serum. So I take it out, I put some on this, and then like, just to feel like rich, I go like this. <laughs> but I think it's smart, right? I think it's smart because you're putting it directly on your face instead of putting it on your hands, and like your hands getting all the, all the good stuff. I think it's important to put on your face. And the thing with this is that it dries like mad fast. So once it dries, your skin will feel like super tight, which is uncomfortable. But then we get back to the French products. I've been to a few dermatologists in the States, in New York, and in Indiana, and in LA, and they would always recommend products. And then I'd go home and I'd be like, was that genuine or are they being paid by these products? Then I came here, had a huge rash on my face, so I went to the dermatologist. It was like 90 euros to walk in. And she gave me all these products. This woman is probably 50 and she looked beautiful. Not, she didn't look 17. She doesn't need to. Nobody wants to look 17 when they're not 17. She looked beautiful. And so she told me what she used. La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay. Translation, beautiful freaking skin. Not only did the dermatologist recommend this, but then when I went to my dermatologist friend's bathroom, that's when I knew it was all real. Cause she had this too. She had all La Roche Posay. So I think that it works. Hey guys, just in case anyone's wondering, I think that it works. Even if they are getting paid, like bravo, because I used it and it works for me. So thank you, La Roche Posay. <laughs> After my serum is dried on my face, I use a La Roche Posay Tolerian Ultra and then either a creme or a liquide. I think I have the other one. Let me show you. There are two forms of this product. There's the Tolerian Ultra Fluid, which is more of, it's like a fluid. It's like a milk that you put on your face. So it's nice for summer when it's hot out. Then you have Tolerian Ultra Creme, and this is the one that I'm using for winter and fall. So it's the same product, just one's heavier than the other. Have not gotten a pimple. This I think is like 13 euros, 13 to 15 euros, which would be like 16, 17 dollars. Now because it's creme, it's gonna be thicker, right? Because it has to penetrate like the cold and outside. Now the thing is, because it's thicker, you can't put as much on in your shiny parts because then you're just shining all day. Now once we've passed from that, the next product. <laughs> you would think that this is an ad. I would love to work with them if they if they want, but again, I don't think they do marketing like that. Um, La Roche Posay Antilios 50. Again, I've been using this Ever since I've been coming to Paris, it's been like five, six years. This is an SPF that I put on literally every day, every single day. It could be raining outside, it could be snowing, it could be dark, I still put it on. Like I said in the last video, it feels like I'm putting soy milk on my face. Again, this is one of those products you put on and you're just like, my bank account just tripled. See, like I'm already starting to glow a little bit. Looks, looks healthy, right? The next one I use is an eye cream, and uh, there have been there's controversy over these because a lot of skincare companies say like there's literally no difference of using an eye cream and just a regular lotion, um, and then other ones are like, of course there is. The skin under your eye is a lot more uh, delicate, and like, sorry, I'm in the bed. Someone, excuse me. I've always had like super dark under eye circles. That's not even a, like I just slept for 12 hours. I just this is hereditary, people. This was one of the instances, I swear. I swear, my alarm did not go off. <laughs> Who do you believe? <laughs> this costs mad money. Dermalogica, I, I really like them. I swear, like, every time you go to a Dermalogical store in like a, a one of those fancy department stores, the people working here always have the best skin. So I went up to the girl who had the best skin in there and said like, come on, like, what you, you losing? <laughs> and most of it is genetics, I think. And a lot of it is the makeup you put on over this. But you can tell when someone has a good complexion, right? And, this, and she told me to get this one. And uh, this was also like $65. If I do feel a zit coming on, I pop it with the La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay. I realize you can't see any of this. This is what I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna put it in the description box below. I use the Effeclar Duo Plus. I don't know if there's just a regular Duo, but this is Duo Plus. And uh, I put it on, let me see. Oh, I got some razor burn there. I'll put it there. Now, if I do have like a little pimple or something coming on, um, most of the time I'll just be like, 
you got a few days, then you're off my face. Um, if I'm going to an event or something, I will use this. This is the most, hold on, this is the most hilarious product. <laughs> I was in London and I went to the store Lloyd's, Lloyd's Pharmacy in Marlebone. Went up to a worker and I was like, hi, sorry, this is happening on my face. I have an event to go to. Can you just point me in the direction of some concealer or foundation? I don't know which one I need. And she pointed me to the men's section. I'm like, what? Like, since when? And there was this whole line called Recipe for Men. And Recipe for Men is basically makeup geared towards men. And my first reaction was, come on, like, are men really that insecure? Why don't we just use female products? And then I was like, well, why do all the females get all these good products? Why can't men wear it too? <laughs> I'm too diplomatic. So if I do have something coming on, say it's right here, I would just go super lightly, and then I would take my pinky and go like this. Yo, I have worked wonders with this. I have gone years without even knowing that this was a thing that existed when I could have saved myself some embarrassment or something. I've always been confident and had a good self-esteem and pretty good skin, but then sometimes, you know, you're just like, I don't want anyone to see me. I mean, that still happens. See, but this gets addicting, because then you're like, but I have a red mark there, and then I have a red mark there, and then your whole face is just like a beige painting. See, like, that didn't even need to be covered over. That's the issue with this. That is a cute freckle of mine, and I'm over here like, be careful with this. Recipe for men. <laughs> I love that product. Never about done. I, like, pull out some Bagari. Spray it on for the day. The last step, and I do this as the last step because um, it gets all over my fingers and it's wax, you know? And I don't want to put wax on my face because that would probably clog up my pores. So I do it the last step. Put a little American Crew fiber. I haven't found this stuff in France. I had to buy it on Amazon. When will I get a new hairstyle? Ooh, French sailor. You gotta know what your what your like themes are, right? Like I know I can't pull off the like Italian like dark and sexy dude because I I don't have Italian features. But what I can pull off is maybe like golden blonde boy or like um, brownish uh, boy next door, or, like French soldier, American soldier who came to France and enlisted in the French army against America. Okay, um, that's why I can't go back to the state. I'm gonna link all these products in the description box below. Uh, that has been my 28 year old skincare routine now. It changes every like three weeks, um, just depending on where I'm at. And I always wanna try new skincare products out. Remember, we all have different interests. If there's one brand that I've been sticking by, it's La Roche Posay throughout the years. Like La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay, La Roche Posay. Even this can be La Roche Posay. Of all these products here, I've been using this one the longest, the SPF uh, 50. So if you do see me and you're like, how is he 28? It was probably this. Honestly, it was probably this one for watching, leave a comment uh, below. What is your like one go-to product? Like that one that's just treated you well throughout your entire life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next Thursday or Friday. Bisous. Also, if you have any like La Roche-Posay contacts, like please let me know when I'm gonna <laughs>